yeah, don't don't hide things from the people that are close to you because ultimately they're the people that are there to to help you and they they love and care about you enough to to see you through the dark times. And that's not just the Charles, but that's just a bit of life advice for for everybody, I think. My first question goes for George. So if you were a ghost like your character and you could choose between going to your afterlife peacefully or wandering around Earth, you know, as a ghost, obviously, what would you choose? I think I would wander around. I knew, I knew you were going to choose that. I, I think I'm naturally quite a nosy person. So I yeah. think I'd, I'd love the chance to, uh, keeping it PG, uh, I'd love to just wander around and see what really goes on behind closed doors. That's great. Hunting everybody, I assume. <laughs> yeah. I'd haunt him. Uh, this, yeah, I knew that's where it was going to go. So, Jaden, we know for a fact that obviously both of your characters are ghosts. So what would you think your character's life would have been like if he never died? Such a good question. Um, I think Charles was super sporty um i think that was kind of what he always wanted to do like go and play football or something like something like that i, th I think yeah he would have been an athlete for sure i mean you look at me now and probably think yeah that's never gonna happen mate but <laughs> well, well one can one can dream <laughs> right so george what will your character be doing if he never died um i feel like if edwin had never died he would have maybe gotten into writing. I think he- That sounds good. He, I can imagine him writing stories, maybe being an author, or maybe, you know, being a, maybe a, being a teacher. Maybe he teaches Latin or something. Jaden, if you had to give a piece of advice to Charles, what would you say to him to, you know, just do better with the challenges he's facing? Just communicate, be open, be honest about how you're feeling and yeah don't don't hide things from the people that are close to you because ultimately they're the people that are there to to help you and they they love and care about you enough to to see you through the dark times and that's not just the charles but that's just a bit of life advice for for everybody i think so this one goes for both of you if you had to describe or your characters with a song what will you pick i i love that I, yeah okay uh, 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 i think uh, uh, man in the mirror by Michael Jackson for Charles. That's a great song. That is a good song. I'm gonna. There's a song called The Lost Lost Boys. Uh, what by Ruth B? I think so. I am a lost boy from Neverland. Usually, hey Lost Boy. Uh, yeah, Lost Boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that one. If you each had to describe Deadwood Detectives in three emojis, what would you choose? Skull, um, the hand clap, and a cat. What was your favorite episode to shoot, and what was your favorite episode to watch? Cool, oh, great question. My favorite episode to shoot was episode five. Our director Amanda Tapping, she was so. I mean, all of our directors were amazing. Amanda did such a great job. The writing was like a joy. Mm -hmm. um, My favorite to watch was seven. I think just because there were so many moving parts to hell and you know we we were kind of living in the moment so to watch it all be placed together and see how they created that space was incredible i mean everybody did such a fantastic job the whole series